Hey everyone, check it out. Something other than a new set review. This is a package of stuff that I bought from Lego by going to the Lego website, lego.com, and going to Bricks and Pieces. You can just search anywhere for Lego Bricks and Pieces. Purchased some parts. Most of the parts in here are new, or fairly new, most of them are. So new colors, uh, new molds especially. Let's see what I got. It's the first of these hauls for this year. I'm just gonna take the invoice out here that has the list of stuff and personal information on it, everything. Cool, it's all in one bag once again, as they usually do. Spill them out. It's gonna be a mess. But hopefully it won't go absolutely everywhere. Try to go through here and sort some of this out. So I am recording from Studio B here. Because it's different. And I like being here. So where I am recording all of my speed build speed build videos now. I'm starting to catch my stride with those. Starting to feel really good about them. And I'm going to be using this little studio more and more. Mostly for the speed builds, but I'm open to using them, using it for other things as well, obviously. I'm just getting some of the big stuff separated out for right now. And... Good start. This is this is pretty nice. A lot of this is very very new stuff. Wow, I got a lot of pieces. I didn't expect it to spread out this much. Look at that. Wow. Jeez. Had to get another one of these because I want to use that on a on a permanent version of my my Sig Fig. It just seems necessary. Yeah, okay, well, let's go with hair pieces then. Oh, I wasn't aware that this was not the, the one that I had before. I wasn't aware that this is the rose gold. Is that? Yeah, I guess you would call that rose gold color. It's a metallic pink there. Uh, I thought it was the, the old one that had uh, a solid non-metallic stripe going across it. But cool, all the better more. Something that is different. Something that... I've never had before. Here's another hair piece in white. You know, I like to get different hair pieces that kind of stand out, that aren't the usual fare to put into my Lego City. Uh, the the next time that I go through and really spend some time going through my Lego City, I'm going to try to put in. Well, first of all, I need to do a big cleanup. It's time to do a dusting. So I'm going to try to put in some more figures and make the whole place look a little bit more alive. These are the Neo Classic Space Helmets. Just got a bunch of extras in two colors that would be especially useful for my Planetary Defense Force. Just in case I want to use some of these, you know, have some some classic dudes in the in the Planetary Defense Force. Uh, I did separate out earlier some of these narrow wheels because they seem interesting to me. If nothing else to use for like engine exhausts, Oh, I just realized that I should have a light on closer to you. Yay! Now you can see better. Yay! <laughs> so many things. So much is new here. So much that has to be done to get things set up each time. Try not to leave lights on and stuff. You know, I try not to waste electricity too much. So anytime I'm not using this, I shut a whole bunch of stuff down. Every once in a while, I forget to turn something back on. These are great. Just the, the plain wheel inserts for this speed champions wheels that create the look of high profile tires a couple sets of those in there uh, these are just like large flower plant base looking things they'll be useful for some kind of decorations hopefully tend to be used for lamps or chairs or stools and things yeah. got some more of these squared off fenders in gray to use for engine outlets or inlets and such. Very useful for that. Probably will use them for some vehicles as well. Still need more vehicles in my city. And speaking of vehicle related stuff, these bumper 
bull bars. I only had like a couple of those to spare up to this point from stuff that I've taken apart and kept. So now I've got a bunch, so I don't have to worry about rationing them quite so carefully for, for myself. And there will probably be more in here as well. Got some of these. They've only offered them up in this color so far, I believe. At least directly from Lego, as of, as of the time that I ordered. They only had them in black. Just the small fenders used on the, the mini. The classic Cooper Mini. I only got one set of those. That's surprising. I guess they were they must have been expensive. That's probably why I only got one set. These new bracket pieces in the most generic colors. Are they? Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's in my hand already. Most generic means most usable for the most different scenarios. So I got a bunch of those in those four colors. See if there's anything else. I'm not seeing any other colors for those here. I'm not going to separate all those out just now. Uh, what else is in here? Bracket wise, yeah, these one by ones. Yes, sir. Did I get some downs also? Yep. The downward facing ones. Are there any other downward facing ones? Any other colors? Mm, you might be seeing some. I'm not seeing any just offhand yet. Finally got some of these. I had wanted to buy these for quite some time. Just extra candles. You know, first introduced with the Harry Potter stuff. Uh, lipstick sticks <laughs> in white and black. And especially black I got a lot of because they just seem like they're such a useful piece. It's it's a short bar. You know, it's shorter than the shortest lightsaber. So you can do things with this that you can often do with this, but without having the tail sticking off, without having the T portion of it sticking out. So you can connect things up pretty close. And also that right there will fit inside of more things than the bulb of this will. It's just super useful things. All these new pieces that they're coming out with that are small, they're just completely changing the game for custom building, completely changing it. You're gonna see stuff over the next year probably you already have that's that just would never have been possible previously in lego black ice skate piece excellent egg beater <laughs> nice to put just around you know kitchens and such but you might find some ways to use that for a texture these bb90 darth ball heads in the gray and the black both excellent parts for all sorts of Different details, similarly, ice cream cones in light and dark gray. Also got some more in black. Is that dark gray? Got a little, little shine off it. Almost looked like it was silver. I already have a bunch in silver from last year. These I figured might be useful for some custom foliage, so I got a bunch of them. Stuff to, to look forward to. Some of the new types of curved pieces not too many variations of those but got some gray ones as well uh, what else got just a handful of these just in case just in case aha this new visor in the smoky color the trans brown or trans black those look really cool might use some of those for some of my planetary defense force stuff and these, yeah, I already got that covered. Always hyper useful. Got some popcorn printed bricks. Just to use around in various places. Might have a food related store at some point. Here's one of these also in the, the lighter color. Since they don't have any spares of those in the sets, at least that I've seen so far. I wish they had spares like they do for the regular visors. They always have one extra for each that's included, but here they, they don't. I guess they consider that to be too expensive of a part, too large of a part to include as a spare. So I got some spares for myself. And what else? Oh, yeah, the bracket pieces also came in tan. The larger T-sided ones. And I'm looking around, I'm looking around. Flame, yellowish, orange, flame, orange, yellow. Uh, sausage piece there. 
What else? I think, I think I've covered most of it. There may be something that I've not noticed here out of all this, but a lot of very useful stuff that I'm going to want to sort away very quickly if I haven't shown these already. Just the, the white alien invader blasters. Um, yeah. These things that look like they could be fence pieces in black. I want to try those out in my city, see if, just see how they look in practice. If they look good, I might get some more because fences are just hard to do at a small scale, especially chain link stuff. I don't know why I like to do chain link stuff, but around industrial areas and stuff, you know, I think that it just makes sense. It's not particularly pretty, but industrial stuff in real life often isn't. Got a couple of these uh, T70 X-Wing canopy pieces and just the plain unprinted light blue. And I'm seeing that this one got scratched up real bad. Look at that. There's a bad scratch in there. Let's see if I can catch the light. There it is. Bad scratch. That's too bad. It's not too visible from the outside, though. This one, yeah, it's got a scratch on it also. Just a pair of these. I don't know why I only got a pair of these. Maybe I figured I already had some, but I didn't check at the time. Yeah, I think that pretty much takes care of this stuff. So a, a nice haul of stuff that I really want to use. I'm definitely going to be using a lot of these pieces in many things. You know, even if it's just a couple of them, some of this stuff is just just infinitely useful for purposes other than the things that are obvious, you know? Just fantastic stuff for building at small scales like I like to do. You know, Lego, Lego is always easy to, to, to put together into large, larger than minifig scale stuff that looks good, but did I show you these in regular yellow? I don't know. Doing stuff at small scale that looks right for minifigs has always been tough, but that's starting to change. Quite a lot. All right, that takes care of that. Sweet. I've got a lot of sorting to do, but I also have many more large bins of sets. So not just a number of sets, but whole giant plastic tubs of sets yet to do. But like I said, I'm catching my stride with with the builds. You know, I've I've done a lot of technical changes and just physical arrangement changes and changes to all the stuff that's behind the cameras and holding the cameras and everything to to make things easier, changing my workflow of what I actually do in, in the software and you know, just experimenting quite a lot. And I've gotten to a pretty good place, so I'm able to start churning things out at a faster rate now, closer to closer to what I want. So you'll, you'll see a little bit more acceleration and you'll just see a continuous stream until I've gotten through pretty much all of the, the new sets. And you'll also see some, some new video ideas from me and some stuff that'll adapt a little bit more to what people are looking for these days and hopefully get a little bit more uh, audience participation as well in in good ways and constructive ways so thanks for watching i've got a lot of stuff to put away and i'm going to keep bringing you reviews so stay tuned check out the speed build video if you, or the speed build channel if you want to see more videos done in this space i think a lot of people are happy with how those things are turning out now giving you a, more of a feel of the build experience as I go through it. I'll talk to you again very, very soon.